This is Lover of Ladies, and the quest is telling me to go through this door. Mind you, I do have Perverti and Nokia behind me. Holy cow! Do I really have to talk to this machine? Okay. This unit is currently in wait cycle. Please return later. Error. Tilt alarm engaged. Entering emergency reconciliation mode. This unit will now engage. Oh, calamity protocol. This what? unit is currently in wait cycle. Please return later. Really? Okay. A better than natural day. I'm supposed to... I don't get it. I'm supposed to... You know what? Let me see something. Maybe I can get anything to wake up this machine, right? This? Maybe? Nothing? Am I really not supposed to interact with this, this machine? Unit is currently in wait cycle. Please return later. Okay. A better than natural day. Now that I have all of the the little recordings, I'm actually going to go to see Roscoe and let him know, "Hey, I have all your stuff, and yes, I've listened to it. I've heard every single detail, because I'm nosy like that. Don't judge me. And yeah, what's the next step? You know, I can never get over dealing with these little things here. Like, are they supposed to be cute? Are they supposed to be rodents that you could kill and no one would say anything i'm not sure what's the status here all right let me talk to this guy and ah he's here in the same spot drinking hey there you are been wondering how you were doing did you manage to find those recordings found them all well i'll be damned now i can finally get off this rock and go home i know it's not much but take the last of my bits You've earned every single one, friend. Did you know Georgie was interviewing Olivia Ambrose on her own? She couldn't have been. We were together all the time. Except, oh shit, my weekly calls with headquarters. What could she even want to ask Olivia Ambrose about? Doesn't make sense. Production, details, ratios, and measurements, ingredients, that kind of thing. Good fucking law. Headquarters would kill me if they knew, right after they killed her. Hell, being stuck here might have been the only thing keeping me alive. Was there something going on between you and Georgie? No, I mean, I don't know. You don't know. Sometimes it seemed like there could be, when we were servicing the phonographs, or sharing a beer, but who'd be interested in some forgotten old bastard like me? What? Unbelievable. You were her boss. No shit. That's why I never brought it up with her. Wouldn't have been right. And anyway, unauthorized fraternization between employees is illegal. But that's all you need to know about my dire love life, I think. Any other horrible truths you want to reveal to me? Or can I get back to my drinking? I don't have any more details. Listen, I appreciate you telling me what happened with those recordings, but... I need some time to think. Got a lot to process. You do that, buddy. Yeah, I'll just... Yeah. See you around. Okay, seems like we gotta do a little bit of action if you catch my drift. And I'll take your stuff, thank you. Oh, what? You really trying to kill me? With what? And this guy's running away. You got anything? No? Oh. Oh. Okay. 
Anyways. Don't be attacking my teammates now. Rude. Now, since all of the side quest has been completed, it's time to get back to the last final mission About here. Damn time. Let's find that journal. I want off this fucking rock. Mm -hmm. Tell me. And stick together. Ain't no one dying on my watch. You're so cute, you know that. And the dramatic music begins. Let's go. Whoa. Okay, so hopefully Pam is a friend. Wow. Okay. I mean, I'm going to take this and I'm going to take that. They're not going to use it. And Pam's not really saying anything, so. Welcome to the Adrena Time Synthesis and Manufacturing Center, brought to you by Spacer's Choice. This productivity auto mechanical unit is at your disposal. Its normal duties involve the management of legacy operations analytics. However, due to the promotion, demotion, death, or injury to other managers of this facility, this unit is now the acting manager of the following departments reception, human resources, wow. accounting, technical support. Not IT! Distribution. Oh. Security. Security Request too. Questions about those departments to Pam. Answers not guaranteed. You're the only one here. They'll make this easy. According to this facility's hierarchy, there are zero acting managers at this Spacer's Choice facility. Not to worry. If a middle manager cannot immediately be replaced, Pam can safely oversee 3.176 departments. When you're in a productivity pinch. Pam can pick up the pieces. Uh oh. It looks like there are intruders in this facility. Who? Call Me? Speaking to the head of facility security right away. I thought you said you were the head of security. Did you know that keeping your workers alive boosts productivity? That's why every Pam unit comes equipped with the latest Spacer's Choice weaponry. When Pam's emergency combat protocols are activated, your investments are sure to be protected. Warning. Due to power consumption, combat protocols cannot be activated when Pam's power is below 73% without deactivating managerial processes. Spacer's choice policy dictates that managerial processes take priority. This unit's power rating is 57%. So... How can I recharge you? Ain't messing with tangled cables or confusing batteries. With Pam, you'll never have to. Just pop in a Firefly brand industrial strength battery, and Pam's ready to go. Out of batteries and need productivity now? No problem. This is just, just a Pam's walking, talking commercial. Another auto mechanical, and Pam will get your employees back in line in no time. Okay. Can you? Well, let's give it a shot anyway. Engage emergency combat protocols. Emergency combat protocols cannot be engaged at less than 73% power without proper authorization. Please ensure that this unit is fully charged or present your override password. Priority, think you can find an override? I could give it a shot. Let me just... Huh. Okay. Weird, we're gonna do that, but... There ain't no accounting for cents. There we go. All I had to do was convince this old girl here that 73% was the new 100%. Easy as salt tuna and sawdust pie. This unit's power rating is 100%. Great! Emergency combat protocols are now available. Error. Employee's biometric ID does not match this unit's designated manager. Proceeding with verbal management test. Pretend that this PAM unit is one of your employees who has been working long hours. Are we really what doing would you this? Say to give them an extra pep pill in their step. Wow. Okay, well, keep working late and we'll serve free pep pills and spot worst after hours. Like any good manager. Pam comes equipped with an emergency pep pill dispenser. Employees passing out at their desk is a thing of the past. Verbal management test complete. Result. 
Employee is a spacer's choice manager. 94% certainty. Engaging emergency combat protocols. Stand by. Nice. Damn, Pam is running. Yo, I can't even keep up. Yo, she's ready to whoop some ass. Are those eyes following us? Please don't tell me that. Such a creepy thing. If I didn't know better, I swear it was watching me. You know what? I'm not even gonna think. I'm not even gonna entertain the idea. Let's just get the journal. Get out. End of case. End of story. You feel me? We got Pam here. So we got a solid crew. A nice little group here, you know? So right here. Uh, it's locked. But at least I get to steal stuff. Nah, you know what? Let's just go through this way. Tech support. Wow, Pam. Hold on, I gotta see this. Damn. Pam is funny. She reminds me of Sam. Wait a minute, is Pam like the female version of Sam? Wow, I mean, she does squirt just like Sam. Wait, I got it, I got it! Thank you! Wow. Yeah, Pam squirts just like Sam does. I miss Sam. Okay, so we can't go through here, right? Obviously. Because that would be too easy. So we gotta go the long way. Wow, Pam, you really are very proactive. Get them, Nokia. Look at this, look at this. Dancing your way to death. How about that? Uh oh. We got more. Get it. Woo! Wait. Pam, no! Pam is down! I'm so sad! Damn you, machines! Pam! No! I know we just met, but I'm just really sad that you just died on me, bro. Rest in peace, Pam. Herniated disc? Carrying too heavy a load too many times has weakened your back. Making you lose that spring in your step when carrying a significant amount of weight. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna reject this. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna drop a couple things. Give me a moment. Okay, I broke down enough where I don't feel any pain in my back anymore. But damn, Pam. Pam! You know what? Pam died for a good cause. It's Spacer's Choice. When do they ever build stuff that's good? Seriously. Okay, we are... Here? So quiet. I want to sneak past them. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna sneak. No, of course. Of course we can't sneak past them, right? Come here. Say peekaboo! Oh! Oh! Yo, they are... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They think they could gang up on me? Fuck out of here. You too. Oh, I ran out of weapon. Uh, ammo for this weapon. I'll just use this. Okay. 
Are we good? Yo, look at this buffed up guy. Can I take your mask? Please tell me I can take your mask, because I want to. I want that mask. Can I take the mask, please? Yes, thank you. That is so cool. Okay, so let's go over here. Again? Come here, hold still. Why are you running so fast? Dead ass. Y'all really are junked up on whatever drug you're in. Okay, hopefully this elevator will lead us to the office because I'm just tired of the anticipation. Like... Wait, hold on, let me check. Do I have ammo? No, I don't. Not for this weapon. Oh, man. It's so crazy how it seems like yesterday we just started. Isn't it weird if this thing kind of reminds me of the OSI building back in Edgewater? Sort of holy. You're yeah, so funny. Go. In a maniacally wasteful way. Where is this office? Like Okay. It's right in here, right? Alright. Now I can finally get that journal and get the heck out of here. Yes, finally. Moment of truth. Yo, what the hell? That's enough. Gorgon is mine. Go now, and I will not pursue you. But if you stay, I will set every last lawless fucking mercenary and Halcyon on you. It's your choice, Captain. Starting to hope I get to meet this jerk. Just so I can give him a good kick in the shins. Yes, honey. What? shadows. We can't shoot shadows. We're gonna beat his ass. Okay, let's go this way. Right here. Come on. The audacity to try and trap me? Fuck out of here. You and your empty threats, that's what they are. Empty, corny, stinky threats. And you know what? I can't wait to give this journal to Mini and tell her all about what I found out. Damn, there's so many compartments. Like, this is a never-ending cycle here. Oh, rest in peace, Pam. I'ma miss you. Sam, my vacuum tubes require evacuating. No, no, not those. The ones in port. Yes, there. Thank you. And while you're at it, could you switch my binaries to... that? Exactly. I haven't felt this clean and efficient since Captain Hawthorne installed my subalternate auxiliary backup processor. Am I interrupting something? Because this is kind of... We are receiving an incoming signal, Captain. Of course we are. Captain, I see you've made some headway on Gorgon. Mother's old work terminal just lit up with a bunch of new protocols. Very exciting. What about Mother's journal? Any progress there? I think it's time you tell me the truth, Minnie. Are you accusing me of deception? Captain, I would never. Can you hear me, Captain? I'm getting some interference on my end. Captain. Captain! Shit. Of course. Of course there's static. I'm not even surprised. I'm not even shocked at all. Mini. Hello again, little weasel. Whoa. I must admit, you've surprised me. I threw nearly everything I had at you, and you overcame it all. You're the mysterious stranger? So you're the one who put the Gorgon facility on lockdown. Well spotted, Captain. We've both played our roles well, but it seems you've got the edge. 
I may have gravely underestimated you. You were smart to hire her, Wilhelmina. Well done. Mother, you're alive! And I'm still on Gorgon? Wow, her own mom. You told me she was dead. I thought she was. Whoever thought a lone scientist could survive for five years on Gorgon? This is so you, Mother, inserting yourself where you aren't needed and at the worst possible time. Am I disrupting your vanity project, you empty-headed little twit? Am I missing something? Mother is going to fill your head with lies about me and Gorgon. Don't listen. Have you come back just to ruin everything again, Mother? At least this time, I have the power to stop you. Captain, this is a distraction. Let's set our differences aside and focus on what matters. Adrena time must never be revived. Huh. Revive the project? What's going on? I may not have told you all of the facts, but I'm going to lay out everything I know. You can decide for yourself what to do with it. Okay. By now, you realize that Project Gorgon was devoted to a single drug, Adrena Time. A drug that hit the market in spite of calamitous side effects. And in spite of its deranged, irresponsible researchers. Quite right. There's no end to the harm a poorly run team can do, even with the best of intentions. The project was a colossal failure, but you and I are going to revive it from the ashes. Wait, wait, uh, after everything I've seen, absolutely not. What you've seen is the result of Mother's leadership. I have no intention of repeating her mistakes. Mother's journal contains the activation codes for the Adrena Time Synthesizer, the key to a new Project Gorgon. We're going to start again, and this time with everything Project Gorgon didn't have. Better R&D, better scientists, clear goals, more funding, and a timeline that makes sense. Do you think that's all it would take? Trust me, that's plenty. Mother never let me near the family business, but she taught me how not to manage a team. If I can improve the chemistry, I can fix Adrena time. We can put this colony back on track together. You lied to me. You you idiotic sociopath, why would I help you I now? I needed to keep this quiet. Spacer's Choice shut down Adrena Time once. I didn't want to give them a reason to do so again. Listen to yourself. Adrena Time ruined lives. It killed people. Exactly. Them. And now Halcyon buckles beneath the yoke of my failure. We can't risk opening Pandora's box a second time. What about my life, Mother? The Ambrose name has no dignity anymore. I can't even show my face around Byzantium without being the gossip of the town. Wow, you can't put your reputation ahead of the colony's safety. Be better than this. My reputation is a weapon. One that I can wield against those who squandered their one chance to save the colony. Every day, workers slump over from exhaustion. The gears of industry swallow them whole, and no one is coming to help. Adrena time is the break we can't fit into the schedule. The office with a window we can't afford to build. It's the best this rotten colony can do for people. Drugs? Drugs are the best you can do? It's a bandage, not a cure. Halcyon is wounded, and I will do everything in my power to stop the bleeding. Don't let those bloodless leeches at Spacer's Choice walk you down this perilous path, Wilhelmina. You haven't the fortitude to endure it. As usual, Mother projects her failures onto me. If she had let me get involved from the start, we might have avoided this calamity altogether. Are you... Wow, this... This is insane. Like... Are you just trying to prove yourself to your mother? My intentions are greater than some family squabble. Besides, mother is the one who should be proving herself to me. Fuck your intentions. 
Damn. What have you done? I always suspected you were nothing more than an empty-headed social climber. This confirms it. <laughs> I'm gonna let them I mean? talk. Mother is afraid of being outdone by her empty-headed daughter, and she'll do anything to stop me. If I can save the colony and redeem the Ambrose family name, I owe it to myself to try. Mother be damned. So... You want to save the colony from its drug problem with more drugs. Social engineering takes generations, and we don't have the luxury of time. We need to mainline progress into Halcyon's bloodstream. You've seen more of this colony than the average grunt. You know as well as I do that this is a question of survival. Olivia, what's your story? Finally, a sensible question. I am the head of Project Gorgon, its grand mastermind. I created Adrena Time because I believed, arrogantly, foolishly, that I could uplift the common man through chemistry. I failed. Okay, so... Enough talk. What happens now? I need that facility online, but I can't do it while Mother's still a problem. By now, she'll have shut down the Gorgon reactor. Deal with her however it suits you, and get that facility back up and running. Don't do this, Wilhelmina. Minnie, don't make this choice. Adrena Time is our future. It's bigger than money, bigger than family. It's the colony's best hope. Listen, this is utterly insane. I want no part of your family oh, drama. please. We haven't been a family in ages. If Mother tries to get in your way, you have my permission to defend yourself. No matter the cost. This is absurd. You must end this madness, Captain. You know what? Gorgon has to be put down, Minnie. For good. I'm glad you see things clearly. Here's what you must do. Return to my family's manor, Captain. Use the executive override code in my journal to activate the NDA protocol for my terminal. It will destroy the Gorgon drug synthesizer and put an end to Adrena time for good. I'll do whatever it takes. One last thing. Minnie. She... She will try to force you to fight her. You don't have to. In fact, I would ask you not to. Whatever mistake she might make, she... She is still my daughter. Captain, in light of recent events, I'm putting the manor under lockdown. Until Mother is dealt with, anyone who lands here is presumed hostile. Finish the job. I know you won't disappoint me. Wow, that is so crazy. Well, you know what? Get ready to be surprised. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.